We began our five-day journey from Auckland and headed towards Fitianga with the idea of stopping at Ray's Rest Reserve for lunch. Unfortunately, as we left an hour later than expected, we continued straight through along Route 25A to Fitianga to get there on time. And so it begins, as uh, I said earlier, on Instagram and Facebook. We're on our way to pick up our hired motorhome. Um, just dropped off Rosie the cat at the cattery. Hopefully that'll go well, as she's never been uh, in a cattery before. She's probably not going to be happy for, for the next five days, but uh, we're happy. We're on uh, the beginning of our long road back road trip and uh, we'll explain all about what the whole uh, long road back thingy is all about uh, in the next few ser uh, few episodes in the series so I suppose I would urge anyone who's thinking of getting into van life to do what we're doing which is go out and hire a, a camper van or a motorhome for a few days and si simulate living in it to see if you enjoy it because there's going to be things uh, that don't quite match up with your lifestyle. Would you not agree? Like my snoring. Well, yeah, there is that. There's snoring to consider. There's uh, space. Yeah. It, you know, I mean, even if you're married and you're a, a happy couple, which we are, it, it doesn't mean to say you don't need your space and, and that's what it's all about. So for the next five days, we're going to be sharing a very, very small confined area um, whilst we travel across the top section of the North Island, which is actually known as the Bay of Islands. Is it? Or is it the Bay? Bay of Plenty. It's known as the Bay of Plenty. Um, I think all in all it's going to be about 480 kilometers round trip over five days. So nothing uh, too strenuous. And um, we're going to stick to the coastal roads as we go from coastal town to coastal town and try some of the uh, free camping sites, park ups. There's quite a few apps that are available and uh, we've basically looked at a few and I've installed a couple on my phone so I'll be giving those a try as well. But the thing I do want to tell you, um, we've never done this before so this you're actually experiencing what we're experiencing for the very first time. Uh, we've never hired a motorhome, we've done plenty of camping. We both love camping that's good uh, we both love the outdoors but we've never hired a motorhome so this is a first uh, experience for us and we're going to be videoing it as it happens so that should uh, make for interesting watching and for those of you who are like us who've never tried it before well this is sort of what you can expect we already know by watching all our our uh, videos on YouTube and following many many YouTubers and bloggers uh, we pretty much got a good idea of how the vans work um, where all the controls are and um, yeah so we'll see how it goes we're not far away now we're about uh, three or four kilometers away so I'm gonna switch off for now and then we'll carry on when we get to the site <laughs> Right, so we're in the van, and um, yeah, sort of trying to find where everything is. Handbrake. Um, I've got a, an alarm. Okay. So that's neutral. 
that's first. Here we go, we're rolling. This is the first time I've driven a seven speed automatic um, Fiat Ducato. And uh, may I say, not in a shy way, it's uh, quite an experience. Okay, so very first impressions, your rear view mirror is obviously not a rear view mirror, it looks into the back of the uh, van, but your side mirrors is what you need to contend with to see where you're going. Um, the van is not new, let me say that much, it's been around and it's got quite a bit of worn, worn out bits, the TV that's in here has got no smart TV, it's just a plug-in HDMI at the back. Uh, we didn't bring any media with us so we can't plug anything in the back so it's going to be pretty pointless to us who keep uh, fairly up-to-date technology like an iPad and a, and a laptop and that sort of stuff so we can't stream to it. Um, hey, this isn't it. No! It's not here. Sorry, she's in the wrong park. It's not here. I can't speak to you. You're going to have to come here. Well, we're about to start our five day epic road trip across the North Island. Um, we've got everything packed into the van and uh, it's just sort of dumped at the moment. We're going to find somewhere nice to park up and grab something to drink and uh, unpack everything. We've got van life radio playing on the uh, radio, as you can hear in the background. A bit of stage 11 there. And uh, we're ready to go. Are you ready to go? Road trip! Road trip it is. Let's get out of here. Where's the gears? <laughs> it's the steering wheel. There we go. <laughs> and we're underway. Automatic. speed. I think I prefer a manual day. Yeah. Well, this is the, the Fiat Ducato 130. Uh, yeah, I think it's 130 horsepower. Yeah, it's a bigger one, isn't it? Should be. Yes, you can get an upgrade. It's an upgrade to like a one, I don't know, 170. I have no idea where I'm going, I'm just following the road. And oh. I think, I think, I think you might need to take a right there. We'll turn right when we get down the bottom here. How about an RG? Do some navigating, do some work. This is Montgomery Road. Yep. Uh, I suppose I need to use an indicator when I turn, eh? Um, I'm sure people. So we're just finding our way out of the uh, industrial part of Auckland to get onto the main road. Uh, it's to go straight, eh? Yep. Just go, I'm going to wait for the minutes. Yeah, then you're going to go down Richard Pierce Road, which is the other bottom. 
controls on the uh, opposite sides of the steering wheel that I'm used to out of my car, so when I hit the indicator, the windscreen wiper goes. That's fine. You're going to get turned right on X because it ain't going to watching this that has never driven a camper van or a motorhome before, like us. Um, <laughs> it doesn't feel as big as I thought it would. No, I'm, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm a bit underwhelmed as far as size goes, because I thought this would be sort of bigger, but it, I mean it's bigger than a car. But I've, I mean I've driven vehicles this size before, way back. I think that's probably uh, since we've moved ourselves how many times with the big bands and whatnot, so it's not totally new to us. Absolutely. Just put a pause on uh, Diego Garcia there and hallelujah. Are you going to go out of Escort? This should just take us straight down to um, the motorway. The only thing that I'm worried about is how you get through to Manukau because this following this motorway normally just takes you into the city. That mm. no, says Onihanga and city centre. Yeah. I don't want to go there. That's taking me back to town. I, I so want it says you need to turn right on Kirkbridge. Where's that? It's, uh, so you go across, so it's one of those, you're all right where you are. Okay. So Kirkbridge goes round like that, it's the way we came in. Join us next time as we wind our way across the hills of the Coromandel into Fitianga. Welcome to Thames. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you can keep abreast with our updates. We hope you'll join us again for another crazy episode of The Long Road Back. Look at the guys, got a big button. <laughs>